The same guys who picked the Bears to win two games all season long are now going crazy because we've only won two games in six weeks. Everyone seems to be blaming Ryan Poles. I am not going to feed you the same lazy narratives that everyone else is. I saw so many people blaming Poles in the last 24 hours, I couldn't even list them all. Yes, we need more talent on this roster around our quarterback. No, we did not need to go all in this season. The timeline didn't line up at all. The free agent class on offense was awful. And the big time wide receivers and offensive linemen had already been taken when we selected in the second round. The one guy fans are hung up on is George Pickens. I loved Pickens in the pre-draft process, but he seems to be a head case, and I would not have taken Pickens over Jaquan Brisker. Brisker has been sensational in our secondary and looks to be a future pro bowler. Everyone keeps saying Ryan Poles did nothing to help Justin Fields. While it's true we didn't bring in any big name players or sure things, it was also the right thing to do. This free agent class was extremely weak from a top-end talent standpoint. Ryan Poles could have maybe signed two players. Say he went all in and pushed a bunch of cap to next year and grabbed the two biggest name guys that people wanted us to get. Left tackle Taron Armstead and wide receiver Christian Kirk. A left tackle and a wide receiver. Both guys were overpaid in my opinion. On top of that, Armstead has never played more than 12 games in a season and is on the wrong side of 30. Christian Kirk, meanwhile, five years in the league and has never hit a thousand yards. He's not even as good as Darnell Mooney. He's more of a number three wide receiver that the Jaguars are paying number one money for. I'm glad we didn't overpay for a guy like that. Could those signings have made us slightly better this year? Sure, but would it push us any closer to being a Super Bowl contender? No, no it would not. I know this is tough to watch. I don't want to see Justin Fields get killed. The thing people are missing though is this is not Ryan Pohl's fault. It is Ryan Pace's fault. Imagine you got hired on a job, taken over a company that has underperformed and is falling apart. You get on the job and you have to figure out if there is anyone at that office worth keeping. Maybe you take a chance on a couple of young, inexperienced workers too. Find out what you have and then move forward with the plan. Also, imagine you get to a job like that in your first couple of weeks on the job. Everyone is blaming you for things the previous boss did. That is the weird dynamic that is happening with Ryan Poles right now. He's trying to fix this roster. And he isn't going to sacrifice our team's future assets to overpay for players right now that aren't game changers. Again, this is the right way to build a team. The problem isn't about what Ryan Poles did this offseason. It's about the fact that no matter what he did, this team was going to be bad this year. Nobody in free agency or the second round of the draft, not a single player was going to come in here and change the dynamic of this team by themselves. Our future looks brighter than it has in decades. Sure, things look bleak on Sundays, but when was the last time we had a QB with this much talent? In my opinion, we never have. I'm with you guys. Nobody wants to see him get killed. However, we have to realize how big of a mess that Ryan Pace left us in. A roster depleted of talent with only two first round picks on the entire team. Lots of older players on big gross contracts and a salary cap that he had continued to manipulate and push into the future. Ryan Poles knows this is not how you build a championship contender. In my opinion, he's doing things the right way. We just aren't used to seeing it this way. We're used to GMs that come in and throw money around and make splash moves to keep the fan base happy. It hasn't worked, change was needed, now that change is here and fans are refusing it. What Ryan Poles did was look at this roster, he saw the same thing that I saw. There were way too many holes to fix them all in one year, especially without a first round pick or much cap space. So what his theory was, was hey, I could overpay some guy in free agency and bring in one or two players to help. 
or I could sign 15 to 20 cheaper players who have some potential and hope that one or two of them break out and give you the kind of production those other two guys did. I love the theory. The problem so far is that none of these players have stepped up. A lot of the guys we signed have talent. Some have been hurt. Some have been banged up. Some have underperformed. But they have potential. There are other factors that matter, and a lot of guys polls brought in have struggled. I know Thursday night's games suck to watch, but I don't know why fans who picked us to win two games all year long are this upset when we are 2-4 and four and just two or three plays away from being 4-2. and two. I have more videos in the work, guys. Today was just kind of airing out my frustrations before I got back into work on my next video. I saw four YouTube videos with the same exact title this morning. I had to say something. All four titled, Ryan Poles is failing Justin Fields. You got one from FaZe Sports, you got one from NBC Sports, and some other jags all over the place. Not to mention the things that are being said on ESPN and social media. Everybody's blaming Ryan Poles. Meanwhile, Ryan Pace is in Atlanta laughing all the way to the bank. I just wanted to quickly remind everyone of the mess the Poles inherited and that no matter what any of these dudes tell you, there was no way that he was going to fix this entire offensive line or roster this year. If you want a parallel, go look at the Cincinnati Bengals, who also cannot protect Joe Burrow this year. The difference is they threw all kinds of money at the O-line. They overpaid guys and brought in four new starters on the offensive line just after going to the Super Bowl. Think about that. They went to the Super Bowl last year and then in the offseason replaced four out of their five starters on the offensive line. However, it has not worked. Burrow might be putting up better numbers than Fields because they run a spread offense a lot and attack vertically, but they currently have a much, much more talented roster than we do, but they are having the exact same issue. They cannot protect their quarterback. My main point is this whole rant is something I've said repeatedly, but a lot of people overlook. The problems with this year's roster are because of years and years of mismanagement by Ryan Pace. That's it. I'll say it one more time. Ryan Pace is to blame our old GM. This is not Ryan Pohl's fault. Give the man a chance. And until next time, guys, bear down.